Hey guys, welcome to Functional Print Friday. If you like design and using 3D printing to solve real world problems and not just printing trinkets, this channel is for you. So what I've got for you this week I think is, is pretty exciting. I've been looking forward to sharing this one. Um, this project I actually did back in 2019. I wanted to wait a while to see how it actually held up. And these are test prints for the actual project. I will show you the project, but I wanna give you a little background first. Um, I had the need to print something in TPU. I needed a durable, flexible material that I could get a really high gloss finish on. And just for comparison, so here is, this is a black TPU. This is um, Sane Smart uh, TPU. I don't remember what the specific hardness of this is, but this stuff is great. I had tried a bunch of different TPU materials back when I did this project. Really like the Sane Smart. I, I picked up this stuff in a couple different colors. I will link this down below in the description. But this is that material on the, the, the Prusa textured bed. Gives you a nice finish. Wasn't what I was going for. I was kind of more just curious how it would turn out. You can see the layer lines on this side. That would be the top. This is the side that was down on the bed. What I wanted was glossy. And these are a couple early attempts. Um, this is not smooth at all. This has air bubbles in it. When you print TPU, you've absolutely got to dry it first. And I mean like dry it immediately before the print. Even if it's been out for five or six hours, unless you're in a really, really dry space, you got to dry it first. Um, once I got it really dry, I went through and I just kept adjusting the height until I had a completely smooth finish. This is close. You can see not quite. And I forget even which one of these is which. I think, yeah, this one is closer. And this is my final product. This is basically completely, perfectly glossy on this side. Now, how did I do that with TPU? Well, I picked up a steel sheet from um, FYS. Uh, ETC. And if these guys are still in business and still sell these, I'll link this down below as well. Again, I did this in 2019, so I'm not 100% certain this is still available, but if I can find this in my Amazon history, I will link it below. On this side, I covered the steel sheet in Kapton tape. And Kapton tape is it's a pain to get applied. This is It took me two attempts. I think I wasted the first one, but this is, aside from a couple pieces of dust on it, this is 100% perfect. There is no dust or dirt trapped underneath there. They don't sell it this way. I bought the steel sheet and this piece of capped on separately, um, but worth it if you want to try and print flexible filament um, in a glossy finish like this. All right, so what did I use these for? Well, something pretty unconventional. I don't know if anyone has done this uh, since. Back when I did this in 2019, I couldn't find anybody that had used 3D printing for something like this before, but let me take you and show you what I use this for and why I wanted to get it so glossy. So here we are over at my wife's car, and back in 2019, she ran into a branch that actually punctured right through the bumper. And you can see my repair spot here. That's what we're going to look at. And this bumper has a couple other panels very similar to this one. They're uh, body matched color, but for parking sensors. I, I only cleaned off this part of the car just for some Windex so we could get a better look at this. Um, but if I cleaned off the rest, you can see there's a couple other body colored patches that are very similar to this one. And a whole new bumper and paint was going to be, I don't know, I think like 1500 bucks um, for this vehicle to have it uh, color matched, done by a reputable shop. And I thought, hey, I wonder if I could just 3D print a piece uh, to fit in here. And I gave it a shot. And this is now, so the reason I waited is I wanted to see how it was going to hold up. This piece has been on my wife's car since September of 2019. This car does get garaged in the winter, most days anyway, but is outside for the whole rest of the year. I had planned on coming back and doing this in... Um, a black silicone caulk. This is just a clear silicone caulk around it, um, and it held up so well I never came back and redid it. Uh, so it kind of does stand out now. I mean, we're this is the only clean part of the car, and we're, we're looking right at it. But in normal light, just kind of parked, um, it really looks like just one of those panels on the car that would, there would be a parking sensor or something underneath of it. It has held up incredibly well. TPU is really durable. I mean, that thing has gotten... Um, you know, let, let's say, given the amount of time this car sits outside, probably two years of harsh sunlight and weather changes, and it still looks great. It still has a glossy finish, the same as the clear coat on the car. 
And to attach it, so I should say, the obviously the hole here uh, was not this perfect um, when she hit the branch. Uh, it went uh, it went through, uh, made a, you know, sort of a round hole and cracked out in various places. I trimmed the repair area out to a perfect rectangle. I actually figured out roughly the size I needed and then 3D printed a piece to use as a template, marked, um, and then dremeled it and gave it a slight bevel at the edge just so it was perfect and then 3D printed this piece and the patch is larger on the inside. So there's the raised section that is the same thickness as the body. Um, and then there's kind of like a flap that extends about, oh, I don't remember, maybe an inch, inch and a half um, uh, to attach to the inside of the bumper. And I attached it, I don't know if I can get you a view here or not. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. So that is attached with shoe goo and uh, the same type of fiberglass tape that you use for uh, uh, seams in joint compound work. I've used this type of repair for uh, other things that are exposed to the elements and it's held up really well. I've used it for things like um, uh, camping uh, mattresses, um, stuff like that. Uh, the, the fiberglass uh, tape gives it strength um, you know, from pulling apart and the, the shoe goo almost kind of acts as kind of the same concept of like fiberglassing, but it remains flexible and it's incredibly strong. So that has, that has not budged in, uh, well, since September, 2019, when I put it in, it stayed perfectly in place and bonded the, you know, whatever material that the bumper is made of, um, to the material, to the TPU material, um, and stayed and stayed fast. And the silicone did a good job on the outside as well. I really wish I had black uh, silicone. It would work a lot better. That border that we see, that is sort of that clear silicone, that sort of has a whitish appearance and a bright light like this, um, that would blend in a lot better with with black silicone. Uh, I may come back and redo that uh, again, just in black silicone. Um, I might even reprint the piece because I'm not sure I'll get the black silicone out without doing a little bit of damage somewhere. But I digress. Uh, just wanted to show you guys this. Uh, I, again, I don't know if anyone has since used this for this type of repair work. Uh, I, at the time, I couldn't find any reference to it, and I had no idea if it was going to work. It was quite a pain to get the settings right to get that glossy finish on the TPU. But I'm sure there's other applications for that as well. So, you know, even if you don't go out and repair a hole in the, in the body of your car, I uh, thought this would be useful to share for nothing else than uh, the methodology for getting that clear finish on the TPU. And it holds up uh, really well, even outside. That's all I got for you guys today. Uh, I don't think there's any point in showing you the design files for this. I think anybody in just about any application could probably draw a rectangle with rounded edges and just uh, extrude it up to the height that they need. Um, so I'm not going to post the STL for this either, but comment below if you've done anything like this similar or can think of another good application for uh, shiny uh, TPU like this. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If you're not subscribed, I do a video every single Friday. A new one comes out every Friday. And hit that like button as well. Really appreciate your support, guys. Take care.